What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another story time video. And today we're going to be talking about how I bought, sailed, lived on, and lost a sailboat. So I don't remember when this was exactly. This was a while ago. I was living in um, Lahaina, Maui, Hawaii. So the second island on, in the Hawaiian uh, island chain in a town called Lahaina. And it was like a really awesome like seaport town. And it was really cool. It had a lot of history there. Um, it was a great town to be in. And I was I remember walking by the pier and looking out at all the boats. And I saw an advertisement. And it said 70 foot, uh, not 70 foot, 27 foot islander for sale now uh, an islander sailboat is a really awesome sailboat because it's meant to like island hop and f go back and forth from like california and stuff so it's, it's meant for the high seas which is awesome so and they only wanted four thousand dollars and i was like yes okay so i called them up and then um my mom me and my mom called them up and I'm like hey we're willing to buy it just uh, let's see the boat and can we do a payment plan so he agrees to a thousand dollars a month for four months and he got us, we got to see the boat and there was a bunch of stuff on the boat, like good stuff. Like there were um, buoys, there was uh, mooring lines, there was anchors. But um, after we paid that thousand dollars, he started taking stuff off my boat, which wasn't exactly good. He kept going back on his word, and this is when we started to notice that he's really not all there. So, you know, I started getting like kind of pissy with him, and I was like stop coming taking stuff off my boat it's not your boat the boat is in my name so fuck off and then when he would ask for payments early because he would just gone and blown all his money and we'd be like no a deal is a deal and it eventually got so bad it was just like i didn't even want to see him touch him i literally just dropped the money off at his like p.o box thing and left went to my boat um i had other state like boat owners around me like who lived on their boats or were on their boats a lot like keep an eye on my boat to make sure he didn't go over there it was just not a good scenario not a good situation but i love my boat i i took it out sailing i cleaned it i really fixed it up um you know i even went scuba diving under to clean off all the all the little creatures on the bottom of the boat it was a lot of fun and i really really did enjoy it and I love sailing. I love being on a boat. I love the whole sea life thing. It's really awesome. Although a boat is super expensive, super hard to maintain, but totally worth it. And even at this point, I actually got into sail racing. Um, I joined the local like uh, sail club, marina club, whatever it is, and some guys took me out uh, uh, to sail with them uh, and taught me about the boat and all that. Because the guy who I bought the boat was from was supposed to teach me, but you know, never did. So I was learning from them, having a great time, and I was really, really happy with this. And so the third month roll, rolls around, and we pay, give the, the asshole his money. And he's giving me more trouble. He's like, oh, you have this. And we, that wasn't part of the agreement. And I was like, no, that's part of the agreement. Everything on that boat is mine. The boat is mine. You have no right to be on my boat. I am still sticking to our original agreement, which is $4,000. Either you can fuck off, keep the money, or you keep giving me trouble, and I won't pay you the rest. That shut him up. So, uh, it's, I think, like, the end of January right now, and there's a hurricane coming in. <sighs> Granted, the hurricane's just, like, skimming past Hawaii, so it's not really that bad, but it's still, like, you know, big swells and crazy winds and all this crap. So, by this point, I've been staying on my boat a few times, um... And this night, I wanted to actually go onto my boat to make sure that in case it, like, get, you know, came off its mooring or something, I could take over and, um, you know, like, sail the boat back to safety or at least be there and make sure it's okay. I go out there, and I'm trying to kayak. And I was out on a mooring, so I'm trying to kayak out there. I'm making no progress whatsoever. It is super hard. And I'm just, like, I'm literally just paddling as hard as I can and literally moving like this. And then getting swept back. I'm moving like this and getting swept back. So it's just like, fuck. So we come back the next day when we can see, because, um, see the boat, because I couldn't see it in the dark, and it was way too dark, way too windy, and the boat's gone. And I'm just like, oh no. 
what happened so we're calling around we're calling the coast guard we're calling marina like hey our, our boat broke off our mooring uh blah 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 well it turns out it didn't break off our mooring um they found the boat washed up on another island way high on the reef there's no way we could get it out um but we went out there anyways and the like coral reef can i guess the conservatives conservative yeah whatever there's a lot of like people who are worried about the boat ruining the reef and we're like yes we're worried about it too let's get the fucking boat off so when we asked for their help they didn't want to help they just wanted us to get it off they wanted to bitch and complain but they didn't want to do anything about it so you know we did what we could uh we were on there during high tide which was like one o'clock in the morning at the time trying to patch up the boat we're trying to find the leak um it just wasn't a fun experience <laughs> Uh, and then we had like these coral conservatives people hassling us and but fortunately a lot of the locals were willing to help us um, they came out trying to like help see if we could, they could pull off the boat or something um, other people were came in their boats trying to see if they could pull off the boat you know everyone was trying to help you know it was really awesome but um it, it turned out it was just it, the leak was so bad it was filling up with water and you know we lost it um but what we did do was take the mooring line and had it inspected and, and it turned out that it was cut. It turned out that the mooring line was cut and we brought it to the harbor master and like, hey, here's the report. Here's the mooring line. It was cut. We know who it is. And granted, it's like, okay, there's no actual proof as to him cutting it. But what the harbor master did do was like, okay, look, there's no proof that he did this. I understand. The, I understand that you guys think it was him since he was giving you trouble and you needed to buy this boat. But here's what we do have on him. He was living on a boat that wasn't his. First of all, you're not allowed to live on the boat. You're allowed to stay like a night or two, but you're not allowed to like live on the boat. So, A, he was breaking that law. B, he was on a boat that had been confiscated from a drug dealer. So it wasn't even his. And it was just like, oh my god. And they're like, hey, can you confirm that he's been living on this boat? And we're like, yes, yes, we can. We can confirm that he's been living on this boat. And he got busted for it. He got the boat taken away. I think he went to jail for a bit. Um, we didn't get our money back, obviously. But I didn't, we have eventually just told, every, told everyone that on the island where my boat was, because like, it was a really, really small island. Um, everyone's like, hey, guys, boats, you know, go onto the boat if you find something that you like or need go and take it we can't get it off the reef and we're not gonna take anything off of there so yeah there was that that app that was the thing that happened in my life um like and subscribe if you want to go, if you guys want to hear more stories um or sympathize for me because i lost my sailboat which i was really sad about uh, anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video again like and subscribe and until next time make sure love is love life and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces Oh,